For the first time in almost a year, restaurants and bars all over the Triangle open their doors to serve people inside. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. We have live team coverage tonight of the reopening of North Carolina. Let's go first to Nick Sturdivant live from Glenwood South. Nick, I hear there's a lot of people out this evening. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Angela. Yeah, as you mentioned, we are on Glenwood Avenue, about a block away from Carolina Ale House. And as you mentioned, there was a decent-sized crowd out here tonight. Pretty much, pretty much things have cleared out uh, once that 11 o'clock uh, time slot hit. Uh, last call for alcohol here in downtown Raleigh. And businesses told me, depending on how this weekend goes, will dictate how things go moving forward. This is what Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh looked like more than an hour before the now 11 p.m. cutoff for alcohol. The wet weather didn't seem to rain on people having a good time. While it wasn't ideal weather for Adam Hydrick, it was the first time in a long time he got a chance to make a drink here inside Parliament Bar. More like almost a year. Uh, we've been waiting for this since March 17th of last year and, you know, have been through a lot of tough times. He's the manager. He says Parliament was forced to close its doors last March, staying closed until they got word this week of the governor relaxing yeah. restrictions, which means more people inside and no more 9 p.m. curfew. Some bars and restaurants on Glenwood Avenue told us they have hired back staff that was let go and in some cases have hired security to make sure inside doesn't go past capacity rules. I have to believe that if other bars have been through similar, you know, trials and tribulations like ours have, then they're going to be pretty diligent, hopefully. Be safe and be mindful of other people around you and the business that you're patroning. You know, they've been through a lot of, and, you know, don't want to go back. And Angela, some bars told me that it could be even busier tomorrow night, being that Saturday is one of their busier nights on the weekend. As for Parliament, that's over my shoulder, who you heard from, they're treating this weekend as a soft reopening. In Raleigh, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. That makes sense there, Nick. Thank you.